Well, if you toss and turn all night wishing you could sleep, you're not alone. Ellie Jansen tells us what sleep experts have to say about beating insomnia. Millions of Americans struggle to get sleep at night. In fact, around 30% of the population has some insomnia symptoms, and about 10% of Americans have chronic insomnia. A sleep psychologist at the University of Michigan Health says drugs that help you sleep are not the only answer. Prescriptions for sleep aids have doubled over the past 20 years. The problem is that over time, with repeated use of sleep aids, the effects on sleep can wane. And so what we know is that alternative treatments or treatments like cognitive behavioral therapy when used in addition to medications or instead of medications, is that that can be a more durable approach where the sleep tends to improve over time and the sleep improvements can last longer. Cognitive behavioral therapy for sleep is now considered the frontline treatment for insomnia and can be effective in up to 80% of patients. However, Dr. Conroy says that there are not enough sleep medicine providers to meet the demand. The problem is the certification and the, the access to well-trained uh, individuals to deliver that treatment. Sometimes we might recommend free apps that people can download, uh, books, uh, but I would really encourage uh, training in this area in behavioral sleep medicine and sleep psychology in general in training programs across the country. Studies have shown that using cognitive behavioral therapy for insomnia can lead to significant reductions in the use of hypnotic sleep medications, which have more significant side effects. For your news now, I'm Ellie Jansen.